For this week's Community Spotlight, the Pequot Lakes Parent Teacher Association set the bar high at their annual community carnival this year. They worked hard planning the event for over nine months, hoping to break records from previous years. Logan Gay has more. After last year's attendance increase, the Pequot Lakes PTA changed the location of their annual carnival. The thing for this year was construction. We've had a very, very successful event for the past eight plus years, but last year we had 1,300 people and it was just too big for the elementary school. The carnival had 26 activities available for all ages. It's a Minecraft competition. We've got a variety of inflatables, both for pre-K and for older kids. We've got a balloon artist who does amazing work. With all the proceeds going to the PTA, their goal for the carnival was to raise at least $25,000. We use it to fund requests from the district. You know, the sort of thing that you can't sort of easily put through the school board. And so we, we give grants for a whole variety of things, plus we fund a lot of different programs. Most of the carnival games, such as the book walk, give attendees an opportunity to win prizes that keep on giving. Book walk is always very successful. The kids love it. We have a huge selection of books divided by level, and it's like musical chairs, only you get a book. The resources that the funds will provide will assist the school for years to come teachers who are special education and they need something that is only going to benefit maybe one classroom but it will benefit a multitude of students over a period of years. The students are excited to see how the contributions will make a difference in their education. So we just want it better and the best that we can have it. Yeah. The more fun it is. So we're more proud of it. Yeah, proud of it. With the success of this year's carnival, the PTA is eager to start planning for next year. In Pequa Lakes for this week's Community Spotlight, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And they're hoping to use most of the proceeds to fund a new playground at Eagle View Elementary. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.